Hello again everyone in this technical analysis of the stock market video I call it whiplash because that's exactly how I feel after the market action from last week into this week and that's exactly the kind of price action we had was a very good whiplash. We'll start off and talk about it just by showing the Dow Jones Industrial Average and what happened and then I'm going to focus on the NASDAQ Composite, show the Russell 2000 and then an update on the VIX and the high yield bond fund. All right, so let's take a look here at the Dow Industrials. You could see last week, here are the five days last week. And here's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Here's where we sat when I made the video last Saturday. We'd come down, we were severely oversold. We were outside the Keller channels. We had broken below the September lows. But another key thing was that the breath was very strongly negative and the volume was very strongly negative. It looked like the, the bears were taking control. Well, here's what happened this last week. Here's the five days this week, and look how it just started gapping up, gap, gap, big gap here on Thursday between the close and the opening, and then we had a little pause day on Friday. But very strong, again, just the opposite, very strong breath and very strong volume, at least in four out of the five days this last week. So what am I showing with this dotted line? So are we in bull mode or are we in bear mode? Right now, it could honestly go either way. And here's the, you know, we'll talk about where some things are leaning and what's happening in here. But you have to sit back and say the bears, the bear case gets reaffirmed if we take out the September, I'm sorry, the October 30th low right here, which is 26,143.77. So 26,143. We take out that October 30th low, the bears get back into control. We take out the September 3rd intraday high up here at, uh, well, I had it right there, I guess, the uh, 29,199, 29,199. 29, ,199. We take out that high and the bulls are in control of the bear case. The short-term bear case is dead. So that's the picture. That pretty much defines it. And it's a similar type thing on the S&P 500. The key thing here, another key factor is, you know, we took out that September low on the Dow Industrials, but we didn't do that with the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ Composite didn't do it. And speaking of the NASDAQ Composite, here's how it looks. Now, where the NASDAQ sits right now as of Friday is a lot closer to that September 3rd, uh, September 2nd high in this case on the, on the NASDAQ composite than where the Dow was and or the S&P 500 for that matter. Uh, so right now, this is the way it looks. And if I had to start off, let me show the bearish case first. This would be the bearish case that says we're in one, two, and that we're doing a zigzag and it's an A, B, C back up in here. Now, again, where does this case Uh, become invalidated. You can't have a wave two stretch beyond the beginning of a wave one. And the beginning of that wave one, the high is 12,074.06 on the NASDAQ composite. And that's not very far above where we were here on Friday. So we don't have a whole lot more to go. Uh, the bull case would say, okay, you know, uh, we are most likely in the fifth intermediate wave. Uh, pushing up here and we're in wave one, two, you know, and off and running in a third minor wave of that fifth intermediate wave. This first wave doesn't, it lo doesn't look like a zigzag. It looks like an impulsive wave. So it leads me to believe that uh, we're going to get a five wave impulsive type of, uh, of structure in here versus an ending diagonal. But we'll see how this continues to unfold. And uh, that is the picture on the NASDAQ composite. So right now, looking for it to continue to thrust to the upside. Uh, let's take a quick look at the, if we go back to the moving average view, let's take a look at the Russell 2000. This has been acting very strong. I mean, look how, uh, you know, here in October, we burst above September, above August. And then this push this last week, we got uh, even above the October highs. So we continue to push higher in here. And, uh, you know, I must say that the bull view, make sure I pull up the right uh, analysis here, is on the, the, uh, the bullish side here. Uh, the bull view is on the bullish side. That makes a lot of sense. But it's with this view right here that we're in the fourth minor wave and we're unfolding it just like pretty much like I just talked about with the NASDAQ. Now, the labeling is just a little bit different. Now, there is a even more bullish case. You could... But 
Right now, this is bullish enough. We'll just watch and see how these waves unfold. The more bullish case would say that instead of this being three waves here, that this entire move was wave one and then two and pushing our way higher. But right now, I'm not going to spend time on that. We'll just watch and see how these waves unfold. This is the way the Russell 2000 looks, and it's been acting very strong. All right, so what happened with the VIX last week? Okay, so we're all set up to replicate, you know, the move. I'm going to go back to the moving average view. We're all set up to replicate uh, the what happened back over here in January, February, in the spring. We got that one break, and then we were going to break. We popped up here just like we popped up in here. And now, instead of continuing the thrust up, we failed. So we failed on the day after election, right? So here was election day on Tuesday. Here's the big collapse on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We continue to sell off. So there's a couple of things. Number one, you know, the, the market's rallying, and this is sell, selling off, which makes sense. But it's also collapsing pretty strongly, which could be a little bit of popping, you know, the air out of the balloon, of the of the VIX volatility that had been built in in anticipation anticipation of the election, okay. So that could be also a component of what's going on. And when we look at the weekly chart, I had drawn this trend line weeks or months ago, looking at you know this from the standpoint of well, hey, this VIX really isn't collapsing all the way down here when the stock market's been punching to new highs. And so he's kind of uh, confirming uh, or seem to be reinforcing that maybe the VIX was getting ready to, you know, blast off. Well, here we are right back to that trend line. And it'll be interesting to see what happens this coming week. Do we smash down through this? Do we get back down below 20 again, uh, you know, for uh, less elevated uh, VIX readings? Or do we turn here at this trend line and head higher? So again, that kind of ties into where we're sitting with uh, which, which, uh, which mode is going to get reaffirmed, the bull or the bear. And then the, the last thing I'll look at in this video is what's been happening with the high yield bond fund. And if you look at HYG, I showed my members this week, you know, the, this high, these highs in here and drew this line across the top and said, look, we're rapidly approaching this on Wednesday. And sure enough, Thursday, we broke right through it. Yeah, we pulled back a little bit on Friday. But it really just it still looks like a fairly strong trend. It'll be interesting to see, do we continue to trend to the upside? Right now, you got to say that the high yield bond fund is saying risk on, and it's in sync with the stock market. So that is the picture there. All right, if you felt like the video was uh, helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you can think of one person you want, who could benefit from the video, share the video with them. And if you'd like to get more of this insight, education, trade ideas, become an insider member, head on over to joehenches.net, check out the website and the membership. Everyone have a great rest of the weekend. Be safe. We'll talk to you on the next video.